Do you know what pisses me off? The media's obsession with blaming these people. Are millennials spoiled babies? Do millennials stink? Millennials have it too easy. Millennials are the absolute cheapest. Now, half the cent strip. They are ruining Halloween. The, the thin skin generation. Millennials. 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 Blame it on the millennials. <laughs> They get blamed for everything. I mean, how many times have you read this article? Young people should stop buying smashed avocado if they want to afford a home. <laughs> like they're going, what need have I for a house? <laughs> for I have avocado. <laughs> the papers make it sound like young people are living in avocado crack dens. Just, <laughs> yo, man, you got any of that sweet green? <laughs> man, I suck your dick for some guacamole. <laughs> And that is not the case. Look. <laughs> some people are like, I'd suck his dick for some great. <laughs> Look at the other absurd things they're being blamed for. Millennials are killing marmalade. Millennials are killing light yogurt. Millennials are killing the napkin industry. Does someone not think of the napkins? <laughs> It goes on, millennials are snubbing diamonds. Millennials are ditching golf. Two thirds of millennials don't have a landline. Good! Landlines were shit! <laughs> Every time I spoke to a girl, my brother would be on the second phone making this noise. <laughs> it's an endless attack on young people. Millennials worry more about bad breath than their bank balance. Millennials are killing department stores. And my personal favourite, millennials are too lazy to eat cereal. <laughs> no! Journalists are too lazy to write proper news. <laughs> what well, I write about the fact that there are more than 40 million people in the world right now living as modern slaves. But oh no, young people won't eat shreddies. <laughs> Do these beasts not know they're knitted by grannies? <laughs> But rather than focusing on proper news, the media is more interested in writing clickbaity articles like this. I mean, how is this journalism? Millennials aren't interested in boobs. A, no one cares, and B, that is bullshit. <laughs> As a millennial with a lazy eye, I'm looking at boobs even when I'm not trying. <laughs> Of course millennials are interested in boobs, but that isn't a headline that gets more clicks. The truth beyond that headline is apparently millennials aren't typing boobs into porn sites. And you're like, you don't need to! <laughs> if you're watching porn, boobs are gonna be there. <laughs> They're like poppadoms at an Indian. <laughs> you never order them. <laughs> but my God, you're happy when they arrive. <laughs> Also, both lovely with chutney. <laughs> How do you eat your boobs? The point I'm making, the point I'm making, the papers are constantly blaming a generation that will struggle to own a house, that will struggle to pay off university debts with things that just don't matter. Like, millennials don't get drunk because it's what the older generation did. Who gets angry at young people not drinking? Just these fancy damn bastards. <laughs> they don't want to be like me. <laughs> You people don't know how to have fun, you're too busy fucking killing marmalade. <laughs> Ignoring napkins. No, you smell a piss. <laughs> Millennials don't get drunk. One word, Prosecco. <laughs> Most millennial women in this country drink so much of that funk, they got fizzy blood. <laughs> I know why the papers are angry about it. If young people aren't pissed up on a bank holiday weekend, they'll have nothing to put on their front page, like this. We need young people to drink, or we won't be able to profit from their mistakes. Think about it. Every bank holiday weekend, there'll be a young woman like this. <laughs> and rather than help her, someone's taken a photo, sent it to the papers, they make money, she gets no help. But the media have got other things to worry about, like the fact that millennials masturbate more than other people. <laughs> That's right. Young people jerk off more than pensioners. Well, I am shocked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Of course they do. No one's ever gone round their nan's house. You're right, nan. Can you come back later? I'm rubbing one out. <laughs> Philip Schofield's on, I'm halfway up runway, go on! <laughs> the point I'm making 
Instead of constantly attacking millennials, let's celebrate them. Write about Colin Kaepernick, the American footballer who faced a torrent of abuse because he knelt down in a stand against racism. Bojan Slat, a Dutch engineer who invented a non-profit way of removing millions of tons of plastic from the oceans. Or Emma Watson, she's an actor, a UN Goodwill ambassador, a champion of women's rights. She's so hard working, she makes Hermione look lazy. <laughs> what I'm saying is, let's not be taken in by this divisive media bullshit. Whatever age you are, there are so many things we have in common. Everyone in the world has a mum who answers the phone like she's never met you. Hello? Everyone loves it when someone just makes the tune. Everyone loves it when someone just misses the tune. <laughs> but everyone really loves it when someone gets caught in the tune. <laughs> Everyone has miscalculated how long they can leave a biscuit in tea. Everyone pulls a face at a baby. Everyone has forgotten they ate beetroot and thought they were dying. Oh, oh, I'm pushing blood. Oh no, I had a salad. Everyone has remembered a moment of shame from their past and gone, yeah. Everyone has tried to fold a piece of paper more than seven times. Everyone has seen a Chinese person in a Chinese restaurant and gone, must be good in here. Everyone has underestimated the noise of a fart. <laughs> yeah! Everyone's burned their mouth on a pizza and then carried on eating that pizza. <laughs> and nobody has ever gone, no, 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 please tell me more about your cycling. The point, <laughs> the point I'm making, there is so much more that connects us than divides. <laughs> That's my point. Over at COP26, the kids were on the mark. People in Glasgow and around the world take to the streets demanding the COP26 delegates deliver strong action on climate change. Teenagers, students, they've all turned out here today to be a part of this march because they feel it's their chance to make a difference. Young people are banging the drums. They're saying, you might not listen to us, but we're going to make our voices heard. They weren't just banging the drums. Some of them had a song for Boris. <laughs> people not quite so passionate. How worried are you about the climate from one to ten? I'd say about four. <laughs> hey, Boris. <laughs> Nothing. Fair to say this lady isn't changing her habits for anyone. Well, would you eat less meat, for example? No. I think sometimes if we'd done that him? now, it'd be more harm than good to us, like when they're going about smoking. I ain't giving my fags up for nobody. <laughs> Give up me fags? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> no, she... <laughs> She isn't the only one refusing to give up meat. Even the people at COP26 couldn't be bothered. They were criticised for a menu mostly made up of meat, fish and dairy. What a piss take. They want us to eat broccoli and they're smashing Big Macs. <laughs> what was the entertainment? Panda slapping and kitten wanging? <laughs> Just... <laughs> You've got nine lives, prove it! <laughs> Surely they should be setting an example, cos clearly eating meat is bad for the planet. If everybody went vegan by 2050, we estimated that the food-related greenhouse gas emissions could be reduced by three quarters. Exactly. The only problem with going vegan, alcohol. If you're sober, veggie chili, tofu scramble, <laughs> fine. <laughs> you have a couple of beers? <laughs> Fetch me a dead animal! <laughs> Nobody has ever got pissed and queued for a tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, I must have been on it last night. <laughs> Look how many probiotic yogurts I've had. <laughs> 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 <laughs>